Okay, I just started a video with a fresh battery and the camera glitched, so I think it was a bad battery. So I just switched batteries again. I'm at the one part of the cave where I actually stand up. It's actually the most boring part of the cave though, because the ceiling is so smooth, the walls are so smooth, the floor is so smooth. Except there is a little bit of color and there's a little bit of plant roots coming through the ceiling. It's also nice and big. It's about seven foot ceiling here, so pretty much any person's gonna be able to stand up, take an ergonomic break. That's what I'm doing, I'm just wandering around, enjoying my little, ah, man. Those water droplets are cold. I just got a water drop in my eyeball. Ugh. All right, well, anyway. No, it's just even taller here. It's like you'd expect breakdown at the floor, but this isn't breakdown, it like inflated or something. Like a bubble, balloon, capola, however you say that. Notice the floor is mostly smooth here until all of a sudden it um, goes down. So this is actually the intersection of two tubes. The cave here is shaped like a big V. This is where they come together. Notice how much plant root there is there. Nice and big and scary. Notice the tubes here though, where they come together, they also dead end. So the whole cave is shaped like a big V. If I found this cave, I might have named it V Cave, but unfortunately somebody else discovered it and they named it something else, so, oh well. Too late now. <clears throat> Oops, hang on a second. Now the floor. Oops, make sure the flashlight's on the brightest setting. Hmm, all right, here we go. So here the floor is extremely rough. Because basically the cave fell apart. <laughs> it's a defective cave. Notice how very rough it is there where it fell apart. Same thing back here. Can't fit back there. It's a dead end, but obviously when it was flowing lava, that's where the lava flowed from. Let's see if I can get over here just to look around. Very interesting how smooth it is though. Okay, so that big tube to the right that's the way it came from. That's the only way out. That little hole down there, that's the other tube. Oops, now hold on. I accidentally pushed the wrong button on my gimbal. Now it's doing the wrong thing. Darn it. I might have to, there we go. So the thing about these tiny devices is they're so small, it's easy to accidentally do the wrong thing. Okay, so now I'm down here again. I just want to go down here so I can turn around and show you what I'm trying to do. That's the way I came. That's the way I need to try to go. <laughs> Good luck. I've been through it a few times, but it's really tight. It's like the bare minimum I could get through. So it's a little bit of work. I'm gonna go ahead and keep shooting videos and see how that goes for me. Last time I was here with other people, so I didn't shoot video through this good part. Just kind of paused it. Okay. Wow. <sighs> yes, seriously. All right, whoa. Mm. The funny part, the ceiling is so low here, I can't really even put my uh, camera down. The tripod, it would be too tall. <laughs> That's how short this is. But you see the floor is rough here. So the, the tricky part is to make darn sure I don't get myself stuck. Like, uh, you know, have a zipper or something caught on a rock. It's the 
tricky part with my backpack. It's got straps and everything, so they can get caught on a rock. It takes a couple times I went through here. It took me several minutes to go like 30 feet just because I kept having to unstuck. Like right now, my backpack is stuck. There we go. At least there's room to move side to side. So, yeah. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> there we go. Oops. There's a few loose rocks here too, that makes it kind of confusing. It's like... See, there's a little bump here, so I have to go over the bump. It's like a speed bump. It's kind of tricky. All right, then. Oops. Now there's a... Hang on a second. There we go. I think I'm going to make sure they keep my uh, backpack where I can reach it because it's got my spare flashlights and stuff. I mean, obviously going through here, without a flashlight, but it'd be extremely tricky. <sighs> there we go. The lease is not steep, so I can go through both directions head first and see what I'm doing. What's really tricky is when a cave like this, it's steep. So you always have to keep your feet downhill. So you'll get yourself stuck upside down. But that means going backwards, not being able to see what the heck you're doing. Yeah. Okay, now that's tricky. trouble grabbing onto my backpack. Uh, it's next to my thighs. <sighs> 